a lot of black women say that it's difficult for them mm -hmm. in America mm -hmm. as a black woman. What is it like for you being a black woman in America? I, you know, I have to say this. Right now, I feel like the temperature in this country is just to get it while you can. And I think the thing to do is to try to be, as much as you can, colorblind. Yeah. And what I mean by that is any opportunity that's given to anyone can be my opportunity as well. That's I don't right. always let my color play into come into play. You know, I'm going to approach this as a black woman or they better give me a chance. You know, it's kind of like, you know what? Let me bring my best self. And that color is a part of who I am, but it's not going to... Uh, it's not gonna either make or break me getting that the opportunity. That is so smart. I think that's how I... That's very, very yeah. smart. Um, what is the state of black mm -hmm. women in America today? Have you paid, do you know, have you paid attention to that? The well, state I mean, of black women? I think that right now, I feel like sisters are taking over and I love it. You know, they're all over the place. We are all over the place in so many different shades. Um, on television, on social media. I mean, I feel like the black woman in America is honestly the role model and the temperature of this country. But they, those type of women are bad for black men mm -hmm. because black men don't like women like that. They're out of control. They're, you know, um, they feel that they're better than the men. And so a lot of black men don't know how to deal with women like that. What do you say? Scared black boys don't know how to deal with strong black women. I'll put it like that because the black man is not going to be able to shut up the black woman. We're always going to tell it how it should be told. And we're always going to remind him, I would say, of mother. And I think that runs a lot of men away because they don't want to feel like they're dating their mom. Right. But we just have this nurturing thing where we get on our man and we're going to tell him how it is. And they don't want to deal with that all the time. You know, like who wants to be confronted with the truth because the truth hurts. Amazing. And so when you when you meet weak men like that, mm -hmm. and but they want to be with you, how do you deal with them? Um, well, I usually don't date a lot of men like that, but it's funny because a lot of my male friends are like that. So I make really easy friends with weak black men. <laughs> I have a lot of those as friends. And I really, I really don't like to put color into dating because right. I don't, I, it doesn't bother me if a black man goes, I like white women or I like Latino women because we all have preferences at the end of the that's day, right. but it's the reason why, yes. you know, yeah. that's, that's the tricky part. Yeah. If you're doing it with the right reason, there's nothing wrong with it. Do men pay you to be with them? <laughs> Are you asking me if I'm a high class hoe? <laughs> No. Oh, my gosh. You know, can I tell you, I feel like there's a little bit of hoe in all of us. So you're a hoe? Well, I don't like labels, but let's put it like this. If you're dating someone or even if you're married to him and let's say this woman sees this big, huge Chanel handbag online and she has to have it, <laughs> but it's 7,500 bucks. Right. And she goes, you know what? When my husband comes home, I'm going to make him a candlelit dinner and lobster and dessert, the whole shebang, because I want this purse. Right. Guess what that wife is? She's hoeing. So we're <laughs> all hoes. And so would you get with a broke man? Um, oh gosh. <laughs> I have to say, I don't discriminate. If that work ethic is there and you have a plan, well, man, that was me in my 20s. No, 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 no. The younger me, yeah, I wouldn't care. But uh, like now, you know, you get a little bit more mature, you need a little bit of financial, you know, freedom and stability and, you know, security. That's so, right. Yeah, my Amazing. man has to be. You got to have some money. Too. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Because he's not going to be able to buy that $1,500 bag you need <laughs> online. <laughs>